Hello everyone, greetings from PayTap's technical support team. In this series, we are going to learn everything you need to integrate PayTap's Laravel package into your Laravel project. Throughout the series, we will walk you through the 7 steps you need to fully understand and integrate the package. In this video, we are going to move to step 4 of the integration manual, which is accepting the payment. Here, we are going to accept the payment we initiated in step 3. But actually, this step doesn't require any interference from your side. It has already been handled in the previous step. So all what we're gonna do here is look at the business aspect of accepting any payment. So let's take a look at it. Accepting any payment go through two steps. The first one, which is handling the payment type. And this, you can see it has been handled in the step two where we configure the integration method. Now, all what you need to do now, as we have done in step 3, where we send the method send transaction and we clarify the transaction type inside it, whether it's sale or auth. Please note that for now, we don't support the transaction class recurring, all what we support is the ecom transaction class. If you want to read more about recurring, we advise you to read our solution article, token based transaction or recurring. Now, the second phase of accepting any payments handle with the customer card details and you can also see that this has been technically handled in step 3 where we used our method to receive our customer card details. Please note that in our package we follow our mechanism called hosted payment page which implies the payments will be performed within our servers by redirecting the customer to our hosted site payment page. Other mechanisms such as own form and manage form are not supported within the package, yet you can directly perform it through direct APIs provided for you by PayTaps. And now we are ready to move to the next step, 